Oh my god! By the way, 100th episode, new studio set up, condenser mic. I just yes. thought I'd point that out before we start fanning out, because that was probably my favorite episode in the season so far. This is purely, this has made it as my favorite episode. I know it was nothing but fan service, but that was the entire point. Well, I, I, I do have my complaints, but let's talk about what we liked first. First of all... The, the doctor was British. Yes, that is true. And, I, I kinda, and he was an insane inventor. Which, you know, is the truth. Yes. Of I course, mean, the doctor didn't make the sonic screwdriver. Did they just make the, the, the adventures of Doctor Hooves? Did they just make that canon? Maybe more Doctor Hooves than the assistant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did they just make that canon? I'm not sure. We haven't seen him time travel. He, we've seen him say he... Oh, yeah, that's true. He said time travel was, uh, was old school. Derpy! Yeah, yeah, we know. We're getting to that. Yeah. And he seems to have more of a fascination with science than magic. Yeah, well, I'm glad they he changed He says that magic things. can be explained with science. Yes. And I, I like that a little better than them just copy-pasting the characters created in the outside canon. I actually like the way they handled this very much. Just everyone got a cameo. Everyone, including Every the gay sea serpent. Yeah, I was Steven surprised. Magnet. Steven Magnet. Who, who knew? Well, I mean, at least we got something to call him other than the gay sea serpent now. Yeah. He had a name before. He did not. Yes, he did. They never gave him a name. They never he, gave him a name. He did introduce himself as Steven Magnet. I never heard him say that. He did. He doesn't know what he's talking about, people. I don't think he does. Unless it was just written down, because, well, okay, I was watching a voice actor thing, and the voice actor that plays him said his name was Steven Magnet. So either they left it out and he knew the name, or what? That's probably, they probably just made up a random name. Probably. And it got pulled this into the This was years show. ago. This was like around when season two came. And out. somehow he's been friends with Cranky for years. <laughs> oh, what about just Derpy? I don't even know where to start with this. I, liked, I mean, it was just everything. I liked everything about Derpy except the voice. Why? And that they did the muffin joke. The, the voice sounded just muffin. like the fan. Yeah, it's the accent. The voice was fine. The accent bugged me a bit. Wait, Derpy loves muffins. What are you talking about? That's all fan. That's that's the. Oh no, my it's God. actually no. on the cards and everything. Yeah. I know, but that's it comes from the fan no. base and all their muffins. I don't care. Jokes. Derpy loves Brian, muffins. Shut so up. what? I'm so what? They decided to actually take a ton of things. I understand from the that, but that's like one of the jokes that really irks me. Why? Because I've heard it so many times. Nothing. Yeah, and you've heard Celestia and Bananas a ton of times, and you're not sick of that one. But that's only been in <laughs> what, like two videos. <laughs> Quite a few. I'm a banana. No. Don't. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Okay, I'm done. We cool? Not. No. Okay. But anyway. Steal baton. Anyway. Um, I think we can just agree to disagree on the whole muffin thing. I'm just sick of hearing it. I'm glad they didn't make it like pervasive like most of... There's my problem, really. In a lot of the videos, it's like constant. Muffins, muffins, muffins. Here's just muffin? That was fine. In which it was more of an apology thing. Yeah. I mean, I would take muffins as an apology. Mm -hmm. um, Especially if they were carrot. I didn't really... Is that that Secret Agent Bon Bon thing, is that from a fan? No. No, that's entirely... It that, does sound okay, like something Okay, we do that have to talk about that. It <laughs> does sound like something. I'm not sure if there was a fan fiction or anything, but a Secret Agent... We don't talk about fan fiction in this house. Secret Agent... What was it? Sweetie Drops? No, we do not. Mm -hmm. And that was a reference, because all the toys said that name. Rather than uh, the Bon Bon name. Yeah, and then it just became Bon Bon in, like... Very recent things, actually. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. This whole episode, there's the, uh, the Lebowski. Yeah, the guy sounded like almost just like Jeff Bridges. Was it though? I don't think so. We didn't check the credits. Let's uh, check it right now. Credits. Yep, we don't even have to play it to check the credits. Excuse we can me. Just run through them like this. Um, oh, maybe not. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, all those we already know. Uh, let's see. We know those ones. This is all the main cast. Oh, wait, Andrea Lippman was Bob Bond. Okay. Um, I knew Richard Newman was cranky. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, what about... Uh, here's something I want to bring up. At the actual wedding, Luna and Celestia's Bickerfest. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> you as, said you got the As gift. muffins? Okay. Peter knew as the doctor... Well, as doctor. Lebowski pony... Did they actually say Lebowski? Oh my god, they actually said Lebowski! <laughs> Lebowski pony. Lebowski is actually in the credits, people. It's in the credits. Octavia Melody. 
So they do actually include her last name. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Lee Tuck. Uh, Lee Tokar played uh, Gummy. Yeah, Lee Tokar. That's who I was talking Tokar. about. Tokar. <laughs> so it's not Billy West that played. No, no I didn't think it was. It's just the Lee Tokar. It sounded very much like Lee Tokar is a very amazing voice actor. He can do a lot of different voices. But yeah, he's the one who played Stephen Magnet. Yeah, he gave <laughs> like a random Christopher Lee internal monologue. I don't know. I'm just still having a fan attack like, that, that the was... word Lebowski is actually in the credits. <laughs> Dude, this entire. So, this entire episode was a fan attack. Yeah, but if it said Jeff Bridges, I would probably no. have ruined this couch by pooping myself. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, okay, let's do the vlog. No, I, was, I know, I was Because yeah. right now we're just, we, we already got everything. Yeah. As muffins, what is that supposed to mean? That's oh. Derpy's, that's Derpy's canon, name, canon name. Really? Yeah. What, what happened to Ditsy Do? Boo! Uh, I guess Ditsy was considered offensive. You know what? Someone give me a piece of tape. I'm putting Derpy there. <laughs> you got any tape? No. Okay. Well, we'll just pretend it said Derpy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, whatever. It says muffins. Derpy. I cannot. Hey, still tapping to Saint Germain. As everyone. She's just not playing a boy this time. Oh wow! Yeah, that didn't even sound like. Yeah, she's got a lot of different voices, well, but yeah, she's back to the episode, though. She was, uh, yeah, Tab St. Germain was Luna as well. well Those yeah. were three very different Oh, and she was though. Lotus Blossom. I don't know who that was. Was she one of the ones Spot that fainted from the flowers? Oh, Spot Spot I knew that. Oh, the French. Okay, obviously okay. Uh, we've been talking think... about this since we saw the trailer uh, a couple weeks ago. The <laughs> what the fuck you were originally calling it, but now it has a name. Uh, the Bugbear. Well, Bugbear is a reference to D&D. There are hundreds of nerd references throughout this show. Oh, so man. I'm not surprised, but it's still... I still I didn't like the creature. The creature freaked me out. I'm not going to lie, but I enjoyed it. It was that a they made giant wasp mixed with a bear. Like, why? How does that even... Have you ever seen the Robot Chicken episode with the mixed-up animals? Like, they had these toys that were, like, two I different... I think so. Hey. They had these... Let me finish. Okay. They had these toys that were two different animals, and they were all talking about how they were conceived, and there was, like, Bumblebee elephant... Oh, yeah. I remember that. And he's going, sting me in the Those hole. Were sting me in the hole. Those were actual things. I know, but they. Did, robot um, Chicken has a way of ruining things like that in, the, in the best possible way. Did, I um, think the Nostalgia Critic did that. Did Spike talk in this one? No, Spike wasn't even here. He was. He put the president on the table, didn't he say? Yeah, he didn't no, say he anything. didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Because nobody well, cares. Oh, and the main six were locked out of the wedding. Yeah, they were just out, out of the picture. <laughs> they the were just completely thing. out of the that picture. We got an engaged. I know, it was the entire point. It was. Yeah, that. The big emergency of the episode wasn't the bugbear attacking the city. Everyone was just taking that so casually. Because they, if they, okay, they it's all the, the way that they're huddled, it's either a friendship problem or a monster attack. If it's a friendship problem, we could just real, uh, we could just assume that it's going to be fixed in a half an hour. Yeah, pretty much. It, well, if it's a monster problem, it's usually fixed in half an hour unless it's a two-parter. Well, so most of the time they're two parters if it's a monster attack. It should have this should have been a two parter. They could have done so much more. Maybe. I mean, unless it's a creature attack, but this was a specific monster. Like parasites are consider par parasites I would consider with the way they reproduce is rather that was common. a monster. Now if they had said I rolled I'd a twenty when a they beat it, <laughs> then I probably would have just went crazy. Oh, watch it! That's where the bug uh, the bug bear bit me. Hmm. He gave Pinky a noogie. <laughs> I mean, this, seriously, though. Oh, man. Well, I, I honestly don't know what to say about this because there's just so much to say, and it was just that awesome. They alluded to the fact that there's monster attacks all the time. Like, I mean, the, yeah, they, they live I right mean, next they to they a monster they built a town right next to Another the, one? the forest. No, I'm talking about the forest. The forest, there's monsters everywhere. And well, no, that, that one came from uh, Tartarus. No, yeah, this Tartarus. one was... Tartarus. Tartarus, whatever. That's don't be that guy. Tomato, tomato. Exactly. Potato, potato. It's a potato. What? Yeah, so, but I would. That's not even the same vegetable. But potato. Listen though, the gates of Tartarus. Potatoes and tomatoes. The gates of Tartarus must not be that far. No, from I was even saying in the episode they should be guarding yeah, where the gates are a the little gates better. Of well, you remember the hang one? on, where are the hang gates on, hang on. You remember the one time when um when when Twilight? Let's see. Cerberus came out. Yeah, Twilight Tyr ran back out. and ran back. So Tyr came out, and now we got the bug bear. It must not be that far. And from. for s and somehow, some way, Earth Pony Bon Bon trapped the bugbear in Tartarus. All, well, what I'm saying is, normally gates to the Nether Realm are mo like they're not in any one place. You can access them. What from kind of like the gates of Oblivion? Yeah, I'm sure. Like it opens. Like when you open it, it doesn't open. It's kind of like think of it like a uh, like a Nether portal in Minecraft. 
You can open one anywhere, and it'll lead to a different part of the nether, no, so that's probably the case. because Cerberus guards the gate of Tartarus. Yeah, but, like, the gate could be in one place there, and, like, <coughs> Earth is a whole different plane, so it could probably appear anywhere. Kind of like uh, when you shoot a different... Uh, when you keep one color portal in one place and keep shooting the other yes. color everywhere else. Yeah, like like a wormhole. It's it's alternate it's alternate dimensional physics, so I'm sure that it's not as simple as there's a gate standing somewhere. I'm pretty sure the doctors there. probably looked into it. Probably. Either that or he invented flameless fireworks. <sighs> Sound. Sound did it. That that's that's what I'm thinking. I don't know, we seem to love to do some powerful things. And nobody's played Huey Lewis yet. Huey, Huey Lewis? Lewis. Huey Lewis, The Power of Love? You guys don't the know that power stuff? of love! Yes, dude, 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 yes. I'm pretty sure that's been in like a thousand different reviews. And I'm sure everybody's made that joke, but it's still great. Because like the first time I saw... I think you made that joke during the Camelot wedding. I did. I started singing it, and I don't know if you got it or not. Oh, I got it. I like, think I groaned then, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But this episode, this was a great 100th episode. I can't... Okay, I have one thing to say about the guests of the wedding. What the fuck was with the changeling? Yeah. That yeah, was that's weird. what I'm trying to figure Why out. Why wasn't it... It was blue-eyed, too. Were all of them blue-eyed? Yeah. Okay. What I'm wondering is, do they run out of hive mind? Can one leave and decide <laughs> it wants to live its own life? It was just sitting there awkwardly, like... Yeah, just like, it was just sitting there. Nobody was acknowledging the thing that attacked or... I think it might have just been the allusion to the fact of, oh, it's another wedding. Maybe, uh, mm. maybe they made peace off screen with, uh, with their queen. Or maybe they overthrew their queen and... I don't know, where did the comics sleep the queen at? Stuck in a room trying to find a, uh... Word that rhymes oh, with orange. that rhymes with orange. Well, it's orange. Yeah, orange. Orange the fruit and orange the color. Well, I can't believe we said that, that, that one, like, two vlogs ago. Uh, we got hey, a cat. Sheba. Anybody want to meet Sheba? Give me a kitty. She might oh, not want to. Mm. Everybody, this is Sheba. Sheba. She's a studio cat. She's so oh, funny. Here you go. Hey, Sheba. She also weighs about oh. 10 pounds. She's yeah, in case you can't tell, we're no like longer in my apartment like where it echoes a lot. Yeah, plus, we, well, we got a condenser mic now, so our, our sound's going to come through a lot better. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I would give this episode a solid 9 out of 10. It's definitely my favorite. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. I never give anything a 10. But um, this has my full blown seal of approval. As a matter of fact, this is totally who I'm going to the the episode I'm going to show if I ever want to try and show someone else this show because it encompasses everything they, of just the show's humor and the uh, but they would and the fandom. They wouldn't itself. exactly get half the jokes though. Like, They're still. I'm pretty sure they'd still be funny out of context. Were the was the oats joke a reference to something? Ate all the expensive oats. I cooked them and ate them. Yeah, remember? Oh my god! Oh my with hats. Oh my god! I cooked them up and ate them. Well, I cooked them up and ate them. Oh my god. I, I'm surprised you didn't catch that one. I'm surprised they made that reference. <laughs> like, I think I was the first Actually, one to catch it, then you started laughing once, you reala once I mentioned it. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't catch it right away. He was laughing too hard. <laughs> I cooked them up and ate them. Yeah, you know those special oats that you were saving for a special occasion? Yeah, well, I cooked them up and ate them. All of them. All of them. If she had said hands, it would have been the exact same thing. Well, yeah. What's that, word you keep, what's that word you keep saying? Man. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was honestly one of the best references that they could man. have. That literally humans just don't exist. They never have. My, my, I don't know. My and Lyra still always sat like a normal... Like a person. She I, sat upright. Every I'm really time. shocked they didn't make any references. Like, I thought when she said, I have a secret too, they were going to make reference to the whole human thing, but. That would be I, too easy. Uh, I've seen a mirror portal. I know what's on the other side, and they're horrible. I went through. Uh, I went through a mirror. Uh, I came across this old mirror during a trip to, camp, uh, to uh, the Crystal Empire. Yeah, it'd be too easy. Yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah. They made a lot of easy ones, but that would be too easy. That yeah. would have been too easy. Instead, they they I don't think there would have been a way. I really don't think there would have been a way because that would just be crossing over the two uh, the two things that... Yeah, the one thing that does not exist, in my opinion, and the one thing that definitely exists and is awesome, in my opinion. It's amazing. A split between two franchises, how one thing can be so bad... Or some two things from one franchise, can one can be so bad and one can be so good. I've never seen the other one. You don't want to. Um, I like it. With our it. buddy QG people. I liked it. 
I did not. I, I didn't have oh. any alcohol when I watched it either, even though alcohol was promised to me. I'm sorry, I didn't have any. I was broke that week. Well, if you had told me, I would have got a bottle of whiskey. He said you were broke that week. How do you remember that? I don't because even I have that. an eidetic memory, and you always say you're broke. I usually am. I'm um, broke this week because I went to see Rush. Well, that's a good reason. Yeah. You went but, and saw a concert. But that was episode 100. Uh, my final opinion on it, I really think it should have been a two-part episode. They could have done a lot more. Same Z's. Uh, yeah, there was so much going on through this episode. And they handled it well. It was well-paced. It wasn't. didn't feel crowded, but... If it had been a two-part episode, so much more could have happened. Is there anybody they didn't... I don't think they... No, they didn't exclude anyone. Are you I, sure? Hmm. They showed them at least. Thunder Lane was there. Oh, I we get it. You said Thunder yes, Lane 43 said... times. Yes, I counted. Yes. Um, what is your obsession with Thunder Lane? Anyone who... <laughs> I just keep saying you people... tell me not to. Okay, the only people they didn't... I said it once and the only, actually, I didn't see both biceps. He was yeah, there. he was there. The, the sea dragon grabbed and hugged him. Uh, yeah. Well, and was, I think the... What about the Wonderbolts? N- no. Nope. Okay, then. They're, I think I have a theory. This was only background characters from Ponyville. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was strictly the town, so anyone that didn't live in Ponyville didn't show up. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. And yes, we know Thunder Lane fucking lives there. Yes. I didn't see him. You made the noise, but you didn't hit me. But don't. <laughs> you want me to? No, I'm good. I've been wanting to punch someone all day. Punch him in the arm. No, don't punch me in the arm. Come on, please. No, punch Matt in the arm. No, Matt's not allowed to be punched. Yeah. Nah. And Thunder Lane was not in this episode. He does not exist. He made him up. Yeah, that's... Wild. See, he's like he's insane, and he like makes up characters on this show and thinks they're actually no, in there. No, we hear this character show up. I was doing a joke. You ruined it. You ruined it. <laughs> But yes, this episode, this is the first time I ever watched any previews, because I was pretty excited for this one. And yeah, I was too, and then we also had the two weeks of no ponies during yeah. this season. We had the two weeks, two week break from the show, which, which by I think the way, it's back on you, a regular schedule now, right? Yeah. Maybe. Which, by the way, during the hiatus, I did put up a uh, top 20 Pokemon video, go check it out. Yes, he did do that. Put it in yeah, did you see the way. whole thing put together? Yes. Okay. I want to be the best. No. Brian, let's keep focus on this show. Oh, come on. Yeah. Pokemon. He'll go on forever, but... If it was... Thunder Lane! If the thunder the... He's a Pokemon. One of the jokes is going to be one of the running jokes from this point on. I think is going to be something about Thunder Lane because <laughs> you mentioned him forty times during the episode. I don't even know why the guy gets like one line in the entire series. Why? I really like his mane. You like moving his, on. Yeah, you like his butt mark. No. <laughs> moving on. God, what was that? Is he, <laughs> is he your husband, though? No. What does that even mean? Let's just keep talking about the episode. I don't really. Do you guys have anything? He else actually to say? gets it. Is that a word? Do you guys have anything else to say right, about yeah, the yeah, episode? Let's... You guys need to spend more time online. No, I don't. <laughs> Next time I'm on my computer, I'm probably know. drawing. But, um, uh, yeah. We do need to make his OC character. Yeah, we gotta do that. I already got it. Let's just make his Thunder We already got the personality, we don't have the design. Let's make his I character Thunder Lane. Just need to... Well, then you it. need to get it drawn in map style. Thunder Lane. Thunder Lane. Thunder Lane. Oh! I'm not even... <laughs> Thunder! Thunder! Oh my Thunder Lane! Oh! I'm just gonna make that... I'm gonna make that. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder Lane! Ho! Now Thunder Lane is cool again. And yes, it's retractable. <laughs> Thunder! Thunder! Thunder Lane! Thunder! Thunder! Thunder Lane! Ho! It, it was well, we've done that. Oh, well, that was... Here. You guys get the idea. You get the idea. It was a stupid joke I made, but it, you're laughing at it. If you're not laughing at it, I want nothing to do with you. Or if you're at least not chuckling. Chuckling. A chortle. <laughs> a, 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 or at least groaning. A groan is tantamount to a laugh. It's when you can't admit something's funny. Here's something we should talk about. Um, do you guys think, vi- well, DJ Pwn 3, whatever they call it in this Final is, Oh, and is, I don't uh, care what mute? anyone says, Lyra and Bon Bon are completely a couple. The way that they acted around each other, they yeah, are not yeah, their best yeah. friends. No. Okay. What were you saying? 
You were saying something, and then he was saying something. I was saying that you think she's mute? No, she's not. Um, she doesn't Lionel? talk. Yeah. Her voice is... I think it's because they literally can't seem to get no whacking up to Canada. <laughs> I... If I was invited to be a voice actor you on know, a show, I would I, I feel like I don't know. Get it. I hold on, hold on. Don't know. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's because if they don't use no acting, they know that fans are going to get really angry. And I think that's really the case. I don't know about really angry. Is that she annoying. has that very distinctive voice. Like, I've actually watched other Bridge series and was able to catch no acting's voice work. Yeah. Like, um... No Metal Alchemist. Like Black Swamp, too? Uh, yeah. Black Swamp... Well, she's and, like one of the main characters. So. Yeah, she played Remy, but she you, she has the same voice. She has the same voice in her three main roles that I know of her, uh, that I know from her, and that's Azumi in No in No Metal Alchemist, uh, Remy in Black Swamp, and yeah, Vinyl. I gotta say, I want a cart with speakers and my guitar, so like I can drive it with my guitar music. <laughs> So play really oh fast my god, solo. what the hell is with everyone and their crazy ass inventions? Well, um, inventions are cool. I invented the e sig. There was no bass cannon. I'm glad there wasn't. That joke's she been referenced had a fucking bass stage! Exactly. That was bass fine. Bass cannon. But that joke's been referenced way my too many times. Bass cannon! Yes, and you are adding to it. I need a bass cannon shirt. Why didn't I wear my hat? Everyone's wearing a hat except me. But, you know. No, no. This hair has had enough. Nobody can grow a head of hair like me. I'm pretty sure I got you beat. Yeah, but mine's more full <laughs> body. You and I have like the same hair. You have stupid. No, nah, yours just has a chin strap. Yeah, so it stays on. You don't. You yeah. know this is a wig, right? Okay. What is it? Elastic? You could just kind of stretch it out. Yep. Awesome. Do it. I don't want to. Then you suck. Mm-hmm. Anyway, back to the episode, because we're really getting off track with this one. That's about normal. Yeah, pretty much. But I'm seriously, just... there is still so much to say about this. I really think we should have done a blind reaction instead. Yeah. yeah. I gotta say, and we have the setup for it, too. Exactly. We should have done that. But it's too late now. And I still have to say I'm freaking out with awesomeness we'll over the fact time. that the name Lebowski was in the credits. <laughs> um, Lebowski Pony. And they did the voice just dead on. Not, you know, not exactly like Jeff. I was calling movie. him Lebowski the entire time. And he was holding a white Russian. He was drinking. I'm not sure if it was actually a white Russian, but it was a white drink. It was a white Russian. I'm, I'm accepting it as a white It was a white drink Russian. in a on-the-rocks glass. I'm accepting it as a white Russian. I am too. Now, if the other guy... If the other two guys had spoken, then I'd probably be No, nah, there right would be way too much swearing if that were the case. Nah, I mean, if John Goodman actually made a cameo, and maybe uh, Steve Buscemi. I, I don't think they would, though. I, I don't think, think any of them would. would. They have a diff Obviously, they couldn't even get Jeff Bridges. Yeah. yeah. Well, John Goodman would probably be like, well, why would you want me to do that? I don't, I don't know. John Delancey that. just kind of signed up for it and completely forgot. Yeah. And he's one of the most memorable well, characters. Even, and even, there was a whole video. With, he doesn't even get the brony fandom. Like, he doesn't understand why he does men now. like the, Um, because he, he supports the whole thing. But beforehand, he did the, he did all his voice work and stuff, and then he forgot he did it. And then, um, later on, they called him and told him, Yeah, I've seen bronies. the interview. Yeah, and he's, I'm surprised he's he just, didn't show up in this at all. Discord. I don't think he had to. I mean, I know he's like a... Why would he be invited to the wedding? Because he's part of Ponyville. No, he isn't. Oh, yeah, that's right. He lives in, like... Somewhere. Middle of nowhere. Uh, do you think that's another dimension, or is it a bubble that... Uh, it's a pocket dimension. Puts, you think it's pocket dimension? It's yeah, a pocket dimension. Is. The laws of physics are different. It's a po pocket dimension. Yeah, but how does the male pony travel? He just does. Do you think there's a portal? Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I still theorize it's in Fluttershy's attic. There's, like, a little snow globe, and it's his pocket dimension. Yeah. But again, how would the male pony get there? Just does. He knocks on Fluttershy's door and says, I need to get in your portal. I have to deliver him some mail. I'm so sorry. The last <laughs> one like, didn't make it. And it's what? like, and as he leaves, it's like, well, I could just give it to him. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would, no, because this whole situation is hypothetical. Let's not pick it apart too much. Yeah, this is too much. Yeah. We're going, yeah, but point is, here's the highlights to remember. New studio setup. Uh, awesome episode, thoroughly enjoyable, lots of fan references. Thoroughly enjoyable? This was incredible. Thoroughly means incredibly enjoyable. Eh. So, if you haven't watched it yet, watch it. We can get these, we didn't get them early today, but we can get these a lot earlier in the day now because, uh, we got DVR, I've got a studio set up here. 
Yep. And plus, no one's getting in the way, so... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Do you guys? Nah. Next time, we will do a blind comment. Next time on the vlog, the next Brian one? fights an alien! Actually, yeah. Yeah, our next vlog should definitely be blind reaction with a quick commentary at um, the end. When's the next episode coming out? Next, next week. week. Oh. He'll be out of work. He hurt his back. No, I won't be out of work. I'm probably going back. Well, that's not important. You hurt um, your back. If we could do it, I know, but if we could do it before... Right three. at the base of the spine, to be exact. Sure. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't work till 2. <laughs> 3. Well, yeah. I can leave at 2.30. So it was Let's talk scheduling off camera. Yeah. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you watched the episode because if you didn't, you're a poop. Um, goodbye. Actually, hey, yeah! yeah!